A warm welcome to Studio Sandvik. These are the headlines of today. Sandvik streak of major mining orders keep coming in. The Swedish king and queen have visited Mexico and learned more about Sandvik. A brand new software is able to analyze our customers' manufacturing sites to make them more sustainable. And also, our president and CEO Stefan Widing comments on the Q1 report released today. Yes, as you can see, we have quite a show prepared for you today. So a warm welcome to this episode of Studio Sandvik. And a special warm welcome to you, Anne, who is one of our new co-hosts in the show. Thank you very much, Edvard. It feels really nice to be here with you today. Uh, we will start with the latest addition to the Sandvik family. Sandvik has signed an agreement to acquire SimQuest, a US-based uh, reseller of computer-aided manufacturing, or CAM solutions, and one of the largest resellers in the MasterCAM network. With the acquisition, Sandvik strengthens our position in the CAM market and further builds on our capabilities to serve customers and expand the customer base. SimQuest will be part of Business Unit MasterCAM and will be reported within Business Area Sandvik Manufacturing and Machining Solutions. And if you want to know more about the SMF business, make sure to tune in to the latest podcast with Matthias Nilsson, who is the president of SMF. Sandvik has also acquired Almu, a German-based cutting tools and solutions provider. The acquisition strengthens our offering towards lightweight components in the automotive segment, an area which is increasing in importance due to the shift towards electric vehicles. Almu would also be reported within business area Sandvik Manufacturing and Machining Solutions, but this time within our division Sandvik Coromant. One of the key assets at Sandvik is, of course, our amazing people. And uh, I would like you to introduce you to one of them, Latifa Melk from Sandvik Rock Processing Solution. She has high flying plans. Ever since I was young in Morocco, I've always been curious about learning new things. And flying was one of them. I noticed the nearby South Sweden Flight Academy after moving to work at Sandvik in Svedala. I love learning and flying offers new perspectives. You learn how to make quick decisions, develop creative solutions, and improve your ability to collaborate with others. Flight training has taught me how to embrace a growth mindset. If I can fly, I can take on that big project despite the challenges. I'm a material expert at Sandvik, working on the development on innovative and sustainable materials. We've just started building a new materials lab to speed up our materials development and increase customer satisfaction. My name is Latifa Mel. I'm a Sandvik employee, and we make the shift. We're now joined in the studio by Patrick Urenius from Sandvik Kormant. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you. Sandvik Kormant has recently released a new feature within the Productivity Analyzer. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, absolutely. You know, Sandra Kormant, we have been working with helping our customers in becoming more efficient and improving their uh, productivity for decades. And we are using a sales tool called Productivity Analyzer to quantify this. And now we have added a feature called Sustainability Analyzer to quantify also the energy savings and CO2 emission savings. It sounds like a very impressive tool. How unique would you say that it is to the manufacturing industry? You know, we developed this tool together with our customers uh, and the response was great already at the pilots. Uh, so we saw already that we have something really unique here. As you mentioned, Patrick, it has been tested already both internally and externally with customers. But can you talk a little bit more about how the response has been? Yeah, it's been fantastic response so far. And we are right now in the rollout of this one and, and training our sales force. But already now we start to see success stories coming in. It's very interesting. Thank you so much, Patrick, for coming to the studio today. Thank you. The signing of major orders for Sandvik's mining business continues. Codelco, the world's largest copper producer, has placed an order where Sandvik will supply an auto-mine load and haul automation system for the El Tiente mine in Chile. The order is worth 300 million Swedish crowns. In March, the gold mining village Masara in the Philippines was hit by a landslide which largely affected the local population. The landslide was the worst natural disaster to hit the province in the last 10 years. Sandvik Mining and Rock Solutions local organization was quick to launch emergency support and distributed supplies to more than 300 local families. The supplies included food, drinks and sleeping mats. 
this is a really nice example of how we can support via our local organizations. Indeed, I feel very proud. Hmm. And now we will move into the big release of today, namely the release of our Q1 report. I had the privilege of meeting our president and CEO, Stefan Wieding, to deep dive into the numbers. So Stefan, welcome back to Studio Sandvik. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, safety comes first in Sandvik, so let's start, start with that. What's yeah. your thought on the development in Q1? Uh, we had a positive development in Q1 where both the uh, total recordables and the lost time uh, in G-frequency rates went down uh, with, I would say, material numbers. Uh, so I think it's really great that all the focus we put in the organization has now resulted in a, in a much better start of the year than we had last year. So, so well done to everyone uh, involved in this. Sounds good. Yeah. But now let's, uh, let's move into the numbers then. What's your reflections on the result for the first quarter? Yeah, I would say it was a mixed bag. We could say, I think we start with orders. Those were uh, good, they were robust. Uh, a bit lower than last year, but last year was really a record quarter uh, with also some bigger one-time or, or larger orders. So I would say orders were at a good level. Uh, invoicing or sales, however, was uh, at, uh, I would say, quite low level. Uh, also, for being a Q1, which is typically a bit lower, uh, here we were impacted both by calendar effects, where Easter moved from April into March, uh, but also lower than normal invoicing levels in SMR, where timing of customer deliveries and so on impacted them negatively. Um, this also led to uh, a lower margin than we want to have. I mean, we want to be at least at 20%, and now we came in just about 18%. Uh, and this was primarily an impact from the lower sales in the quarter. Uh, but this shows that we also need to continue to focus on cost efficiency and even cost reduction to, uh, to, to mitigate uh, the current economical sort of environment. Mm. Um, if we look at cash flow, however, I would say it was quite okay. Uh, we had uh, inventories going up a little bit. Uh, but much less than it usually does in the first quarter of the year. Uh, and if we combine that with the lower invoicing, I think we did still a good job to, to manage that. Uh, and uh, if we continue to focus the way we do now on this, I think we have now a good opportunity to really get back to more normal levels throughout the year as invoicing also picks up. So, um, yeah, again, a mixed bag. Mm, yeah. But if you look at the quarter overall, are there any specific highlights that would you, you would like to call out? Yeah, sure. There are always exciting things happening. Uh, we can take, first of all, on the order side. Uh, we had another major order for mine automation uh, this uh, quarter for what is basically the reference customer in the industry for major automation projects. So, this is not just about this order, it also creates a good sort of reputation for our solutions in the industry. Uh, we also had some good acquisitions coming in uh, with SimQuest, for example, strengthening our CAM position in the US. Uh, ProMicron, uh, increasing our presence within sensorized tools, which is important for automation going forward. Uh, and then also Almo, which strengthens our position within lightweight aluminium machining, which is important for the transition towards EVs. So, yeah, good, good things. Thank you so much, Stefan, for coming to the studio this time. Really interesting to hear Stefan taking us through the numbers. Sandvik has been rewarded for our work on marketing communication campaigns and, of course, it's for the Impossible Statue, uh, where Sandvik used AI to create the perfect combination between the work of five sculptures, long gone, and then machine the statue out of stainless steel using our cutting tools and software simulation programs. The campaign was awarded at the renowned 100 Watt Gala in Stockholm that uh, rewards the actual effects of a campaign, making it one of the most prestigious. Yes, and on the Swedish PR gala SPIN last week, Sandvik was awarded a gold medal in the category Employer Branding, where we then won this beautiful little statue. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Indeed. Yeah. And in SPIN, the actual effects and, and breakthrough of a campaign is rewarded. So, given that Sandvik had more than 900 articles and TV segments around the statue across the globe, it was really a well-deserved win. Indeed. 
But the success didn't stop there. The statue was also one of the winners at the EMEA Sabre Awards Gala in London, where we were nominated in the chemicals and industrial category. So truly a lot of recognition for our beloved statue recently. Mm. Well deserved. Well deserved, for sure. And if you want to refresh your memory on how this beautiful piece of art was made, then tune in to our stories hub on home.sandvik, where all material is available. A bit of royal touch was given to Sandvik in March. The Swedish king Carl Gustav XVI and Queen Sylvia went on a state visit to Mexico where they, amongst other things, participated in the Mexico-Sweden Business Forum. The king officially opened the Business Forum where one of the main topics was sustainable mining and Sandvik Mining and Rock Solutions President Mats Eriksson delivered a presentation emphasizing our commitment to responsible mining practices and environmental sustainability. Sandvik also showcased the latest and the greatest in electrification, automation and digitalization within mining. And as you can see, the king was fascinated. Yes, even a king can learn something from Sandvik apparently. Always. <laughs> now that was all we had prepared for you today and we really hope that you enjoyed today's show. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon again when the next episode of Studio Sandvik will be aired. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.